So today we are setting up our Facebook business page. If you do have already a Facebook business page, then no worries, you can step or skip this step. But I want you to remember to use the Facebook page if you have several, the one where you have the most engagement with. Also, there is a different page between a branded and an unbranded page. You can use an unbranded page, which would be maybe a community page, or you can use a branded page, which is your brokerage or your real estate page. It doesn't matter at the end. We are looking for the most engagement uh, within your Facebook business pages. But if you do not have a Facebook business page, Stay with me because now we are going and setting up a new Facebook business page. For that, you are logging in into your Facebook profile. And from there, we are going up to the right corner. And then we take the plus sign. And there are several ways how you can go there. But I take it the easiest way so that you can follow along with me. We are choosing the page and we press page and now <clears throat> sorry about this facebook will uh, guide us through the process <coughs> so i am back so hopefully my throat is holding through and uh, for our business page we do have uh, two categories we have a branded and an unbranded so it is a personal preference whatever you want to do maybe you want to or even your brokerage is requiring you to have your business page labeled with your name and with the brokerage certainly then you have to do this here in my case i am going for an unbranded page where i will share random information for homeowners in florida and i will name the page florida <coughs> homeowner resources all right that's I like that and I label this as a community page but you can label it as a real estate agent real so you have several options real estate agent real estate just type start typing and uh, <clears throat> uh, Facebook gives you some option if you have a real estate company real estate service however you want to do it that is fine you can put your name up here so think about the name and then you put in your category i will leave it as a community page and in this um we can describe it or you should describe it so that your viewers know exactly what your page is all about on this page we are sharing useful information and resources Florida home buyer <clears throat> and seller. All right, that's I leave it, and now we are creating the page. And you can go back in there and change the name down the road. It is a little bit complicated changing the name, but uh, you can change the description. And now Facebook is asking us to uh, put in a profile picture. So um, I will take, you can take your profile picture if it is branded to you. We are taking, I will take a home picture of a Florida home. Right, so let me see what we have available. I believe I go with this picture. All right, that will become my profile picture. <clears throat> and down here we put a cover photo. The cover photo goes in here. Uh, uh, Facebook had certain requirements. If you want to have a very nice cover photo, we are using a lot of Canva, canva.com. Canva.com. And Canva gives you already the formatting. So we are putting in here Facebook. Facebook cover. 
And now Facebook uh, Canva gives us the cover for Facebook. So you can choose covers or you can create your own. So where you now can get creative. So we maybe do another session for Canva, but you get an idea. And I will take that cover photo or my profile photo. Let's see what else we have available. And I will take this picture as the background. <clears throat> All right. Yes, I like that. And now we just click save. And voila, there we have our business page. So this is for day, today. So you see, sometimes Facebook is taking the profile picture. Sometimes they don't. So they came up with the F. It means that they didn't, didn't take the picture. So I have to go back in here and change my profile picture. Let me do this. <clears throat> I have to switch you a little bit around. And here we are, we will edit our profile picture and we take that one. Now you can drag it around a little bit. You can adjust it smaller, bigger, however you want to. So I take that one, I save that as my profile picture and now we are good. When our page is established, right now we do have not the ability to name the page. It takes some time, so when we have a few posts and one or two likes going on, then we can come in and we'll create our username so that uh, users who are looking for us, that they as well will find us by our, our username. So this is our Facebook business page. We have established it and now we can go even further. And that's, we will show you during our course area.